Let's now get reaction on this from investigative journalist Tony Gosling. Uh, Mr. Gosling, thank you very much indeed for joining us now at RT. Uh, so with the enormous media attention on Mr. Snowden, it's hardly surprising that he's not willing to reveal his whereabouts. Uh, how long do you think uh, do you expect him to, to be hiding? Well, I imagine uh, just within a few weeks he'll probably come out. But, I mean, this is really following a pattern, isn't it? We've got Julian Assange, um, Bradley Manning, and now Edward Snowden. Uh, really, the story is the same for each of them. What they're doing is they're revealing war crimes and illegal surveillance of innocent people. Uh, actually, illegal. What I mean is the people who are doing that surveillance should be in jail. They're criminals. Uh, and we're in a situation now in the West where that is considered to, to, to be fine, this kind of illegal surveillance and war crimes, and people who reveal it or tell the truth to the public are felons, are criminals themselves, and are hunted down. Now, this is, means what we're do, dealing with here is a system which has become morally bankrupt, and I think that's why uh, Snowden is in this awful situation today and he's now decided. Now I think also the timing is very interesting why he's decided today uh, to do this and that is because I think uh, within the last 24 hours or so we had his father Lon Snowden uh, who was actually asked by the FBI to come over and uh, effectively uh, spy for the FBI on his own son. Uh, now he's been asked to do that. I think what Edward's doing is he's listening to his dad because he doesn't know who to trust in this crazy world. He certainly doesn't trust his own government and I personally wouldn't trust my own government. GCHQ are just as deep into this as the National Security Agency. And as we've seen, this system that Edward has exposed to the public here uh, actually involves spying on our own governments and on the European Union. Uh, incredibly, the European Union don't seem to care about that. Uh, the fact that there's negotiations going on to do with trade negotiations, but the uh, NSA has been spying on those negotiations. When we saw the Bolivian president, as we heard a little bit earlier on, um, being stopped, his plane being stopped by, by France, Italy, Spain and Portugal, he had to stop in, in Vienna, uh, I mean, this was absolutely disgusting. In fact, as, as the Bolivian President Morales himself said, an act of war. So we're, we're dealing with a kind of undercurrent of extreme tension. Uh, and these characters, Assange uh, and, and Bradley Manning, um, as, as, well as, uh, as well as Edward Snowden, are all showing the public what's really going on. Mm. Uh, do you think today's developments, latest developments, mean Snowden has temporary respite from the fear of US uh, prosecution? Well, it's incredible that he would, um, he probably would have gone to other places if it was possible. But what's happened is the West has blocked that off. These other countries have blocked those possibilities off. Um, the, one of the most fascinating aspects to all of this, of course, is a few days ago, the Russian Deputy Prime Minister Dmitry Rozogin uh, said that there was nothing new in what the Russians had learned from, uh, from Snowden. What that actually is saying, in a, in a bit of a hidden message, is that actually what Snowden is doing is revealing these things not to the Russians and not to America's so-called enemies, but to us, to the public. And that's what's not going on here in the West. We've had very little proper investigative journalism really over the last 10 years into what our governments are doing with our taxpayers' money. So, of course, Snowden is a bit of a hero. Uh, I mean, the Western public deserves to know what's going on with our money, particularly when we're seeing really millions of innocent people under surveillance. What about our passwords? Our passwords which access our accounts of things like internet banking, have the National Security Agency got all these as well? These are the questions we need to have answered right now. All right, Tony Gosling, investigative journalist, thank you very much indeed for your thoughts. Thank you. Thank you.